and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Open Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be opening up that NFL Centennial Pack, guys. Now, the NFL Centennial Pack part is pre-recorded, as you guys know, because that came out a few days ago. I never got to post it because it was so late at night. I'm talking to you guys now. I'm just putting a little intro in there. Guys, I'm going to be cutting right at the animation part because here's the thing. Every time I open up these packs, you guys already know how I like to do them. I like to be surprised to go through it all. You guys know what I mean when, when the time comes, but I want you guys to be surprised too. You guys are never surprised. You always know what I get before I get it. So we're going to make it a little bit interesting. So you guys will see everything as it comes. But this is one of the best offers, as you guys know. Centennial pack opening. Pretty great. Because that pack is one we were all excited for. We knew it would be, we were hoping it'd be a guaranteed player, and it was. Honestly, for 10, what was it, 20 bucks? For 20 bucks, if even less, if you have the EA access. Solid, solid pack. For most people, you can get like 500k off that pack if you don't pull like Emma Smith or Jim Brown. So that was really, really solid. If you got it, you can even get better than that. Really did like that pack. Really was an exciting pack to open. Also, we got the Series Redux packs so you guys will be seeing probably today although this video is gonna be i'm talking right now today but then when you see this video half it's gonna be from a few days ago so you guys will understand all that but if you're already to the channel and you enjoy all this guys and you're enjoying the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on that notification boys i have plenty of packs coming for you guys up in december i actually will probably be opening up some packs in december so we can have a fun christmas time i'll also be doing like a 25 days to christmas type of giveaway thing so do expect that coming soon pretty much there'll be daily giveaways all the way up until the end of december so stay tuned for all that guys so yeah make sure to comment down below who you got from your centennial pack although this is a few days late and make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys are excited for the centennial pack in general if you guys are excited for packs spam that like button can we get 200 likes in this video boys now let's cut over to the other footage we're at the store and obviously we get the nfl 100 centennial pack that does go for 2200 points now that's not really that bad i'm pretty sure it's about 20 bucks and if you do have ea access like i do it came out to about a little over $17 was not bad considering that at the lowest end of the spectrum you get about 300k after reduction at the highest end to make anywhere upwards to like 700k now remember it all depends on when you sell these cards for me personally I'll probably hold on to them for a few days and I know they'll come back up they are the top players in the game so although there's gonna be a really high influx of them they're gonna come really far down remember that once these cards get bought out in the market because obviously these cards are the best cards in the game so their prices have to return to normal now we do feel that things got some other bundles coming up the redux fantasy pack which i'm super excited for because that's going to be one of the best ones guys expect that video obviously when the time comes super excited that's another great one now we do have some of the players that are still coming up some of the packs the most fear packs one of the offers that are currently here in the store and guys quite honestly blitz has been pretty fun so far not exactly what i was expecting but i do definitely want the lamar i do definitely want some of these packs the centennial packer is gonna be great guys but 2200 points pretty excited to get into this guys i honestly don't know what i want from here i would love would love i don't know i'd want lawrence taylor maybe alan page eric dickerson those are probably my top three options right there one of the ones that i definitely want hopefully you can pull one of them guys comment down below what you think i'm gonna get obviously we're gonna do this the same way we always do we're gonna go down below we're going to just cut it, and we're going to go into our binder or our lineup, and we're going to find it one by one. It's always a fun way to do that. See what we get. I'm definitely excited to try doing that. I love doing that method, guys. So, you guys are ready? All right, let's turn around so we don't see it, and we're going to cut right into our lineup and find out who it is. All right, so let's head on over to the lineup and check out who we got, guys. Like I said, I want Lawrence Taylor. I kind of want Alan Page. I'd honestly take me Joe Green, too. Maybe Eric Dickerson, because those are like one of the, high, the higher priced ones, obviously. So, I think I'd be cool with those. Oh, and Reggie White. I definitely want Reggie White. That is one of the great ones, too. I don't really know who else I'd really want from here, but I mean, any of them are good pulls at the end of the day. As long as it's not Emmett Smith or Jim Brown, I'll be pretty happy because that means I'm probably getting somewhere near 500k. It's not really a big deal. So let's go over to our team and let's go one by one. Now, I'm going to start off with the halfback, right? Let's, let's peel the bandit off. We got to know. We just got to know. Let's do it. Don't be Emmett Smith. Don't be Jim Brown. Dickerson and Barry Sanders I'll gladly take and we open it and do we get one we do not okay so it's not a running back so I mean it has to be a defensive lineman or a linebacker and that's interesting okay okay so I mean do you have a pretty good chance who, who's the bad pulls right now we could get I like Bobby Bell but his price is lower Deacon Jones a little bit lower all right so it could be a few guys so let's start defensive tackle Give me Alan Page or Minjo Green, and we do not get one of those two either. 
Okay, so it most likely isn't a defensive lineman either. It might be a linebacker because if it was a defensive lineman, they would have probably showed there. Let's check. Let's see. Deacon Jones or Reggie White? No, it is not one of those either. Okay, so it has to be a linebacker. It has to be a linebacker. There's no other way. So let's go to Lawrence Taylor. That'd be awesome. I'll power him up right now on the spot. Lawrence Taylor, we do not get him. And I see who we get. If you guys didn't see already. Let's go to middle linebacker because we saw who we got. We got Willie Lane year 94 overall. That's pretty awesome. Okay, that one's not horrible. Um, his stats, as you guys can see right there, looking pretty good. 87 speed, 87 excel, 86 agility. Oh, he's on the right side. You guys can't even see that, can you? Hold up, let's compare him. Let's compare him real quick. So, he's got 87 speed, 87 excel, 86 strength, 91 tackle, 93 play rec, 97 block shed, 94 hit power, and 80 zone coverage. So, compared to my Ray Lewis, I don't know if it's worthy to, I don't know if it's worth powering him up, as you guys can see, because powered up Willie Lane, you will have the same speed, less excel, same strength just about, less strength, less play rec, better block shed, better hit power by one, and better zone. Now, I typically use a Ray Lewis because I like to have Shazier in his own zone doing his own thing. So for me, the zone won't matter too much. So the big difference would probably be like the plus four block shot. But other than that, Ray Lewis seems to be better all around and powered up. Now, they're pretty much the same card. Honestly, six to one. These cards are almost identical. I don't... Willie Lane is a beast if you don't have Ray Lewis. But if you have Ray Lewis, I don't think it's worth it for me to lose the training powering him down. Going through all that extra training to power Ray Lane, you're up. And losing all that extra... Like putting all that extra coins into him. For me personally, I think Ray Lewis is just fine. I think it would just be too much of a hassle and too many coins. And I'm also a big Ray Lewis fan, so I'll probably better off for me to just hold on to him. Let's go check out the market real quick and see how much this lane year is even going for because it could make a big difference in my decision here. If he's going for at least like 450k, I'm probably going to just sell him. All right, guys, we're back in current time. After I recorded all that, I never really went ahead and checked. I, I ended up checking for myself, but he was too expensive, so I held on to him, obviously. Plan to sell him now, now that we're back in real time. So let's go see what he's going for as of now. Back then, I think he was going for like... I want to say 390. He was going for like 390, but that was because of the market crash. So I need to wait a few days. Now let's see if it all paid off for me. He was about 390 when I last checked. So let's see what he's really going for about now. I imagine he's went up quite a bit. Now, obviously, some of these other pulls wouldn't have been great. Emmett Smith, Jim Brown wouldn't have been a great pull. Deacon Jones. But as you can see here, we're already in the 400 range and we have not seen Lanier yet. So it's looking like we made a little over 100 plus K waiting, which is why I recommended you guys all waited. They did go back up significantly after like an hour of crashing but guys just remember these are the best cards in the game right now so it's even if they crash a little bit they're gonna come back up because everyone wants them see now they release team of the week packs those cards will skyrocket down they might not come back up because people don't really want them they only had them because they got it from a pack so there's not a lot of there's a lot of supply no demand high demand high supply as supply starts to come down after the packs the demand's still high so it's gonna equal back out eventually so let's go look down. We see Lane near at 532. Okay, let's filter him out. I think we might have made quite a few coins here. I clicked Dolphins. Waiting on this. I knew it was a pretty good idea to wait for him. To be honest with you guys, I had a feeling that would benefit me a little bit. 469. Oh, that's Bobby Bell. I was going to say, I did not just see that. All right, where's Lane near? Lane near is 532. So that's a solid price. I'll probably sell him later for like 550 if I could wait a little bit. Make like 500K total. Definitely was worth it to hold on to the card. Glad I did that. Lane near is not a bad pull at all. One of the better ones, like I said, we could have gotten like Deacon Jones, Emmett Smith, Jim Brown, Bobby Bell. We definitely got one of the, we get some middle tier. It's slightly above middle tier. I'll gladly take 500K for 20 bucks. Definitely worth it. Considering, let's see, like a million coins. That would have been like a million coins for 40 bucks if you guys ratioed out like that. Which means that that would be like half, a, less than half a bundle. And you know sure as hell a bundle barely gets you a million coins. And it costs 100 bucks. So definitely worth it. Definitely happy I went this route. Was definitely well, well worth it. And now we can wait for those series redux pulls or packs that we'll be releasing at 12 midnight. The f well, I already opened them. You guys gotta wait for them, is what I should say. Should be fun, guys. Now, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you that come out every day to watch the videos. So, if you guys are new, hit that sub button, turn on that notification bell, like I said. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys pulled from the Centennial Pack. I know I'm a little late, but let me know what you guys did pull. I want to see what the luck was looking like. And make sure to smash the like button. Can we get 300 likes in the Centennial Pack pulled? That's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. See you guys in the next one. Peace.